my YouTube channel and happy freaking Halloween. Today, when I'm uploading this, it's Halloween, obviously, but when I'm recording this, it is the day before Halloween and I'm just, I'm ready. My body is ready. I put a lot of pressure on myself to figure out what I was gonna post on Halloween because I feel like by the time it's Halloween, everyone's kind of like, over it? Is that just me? I don't know. You know, November 1st, you're not gonna be watching a Halloween video or it's not gonna be as interesting. So I knew couldn't film anything on Halloween um, to upload on November 1st. So what I've landed on is I have asked my grandmother to read some ghost stories um, from where I grew up in Halifax. And my grandma, she, or my Nana, Nana Liz, she used to do ghost tours around Halifax um, where she would take everyone in her little outfit and her big skull staff um, and walk people around and do ghost tours and that was her thing. So I thought it'd be really cool to have them kind of encapsulated into a video. So she, bless her heart, recorded them for me and sent them to me over WeTransfer and now they're here for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, because this is my last Halloween video, I did want to do another giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away a $50 Visa gift card. That's it. Um, you can look in the description if you're interested to see how to enter, um, but just head over to my Instagram and I'm sure you'll see it there. Um, so happy Halloween. I hope you guys enjoy this. Give it a big thumbs up and on to Christmas. <laughs> Back in the days when Halifax had a fortress up on its hill, there was an active military operation, and many of the young men had flings with the young women of the town. As you might guess, often pregnancies resulted. In one such case, the woman took her baby to the Citadel and pleaded with the soldier she had been dating to marry her and help support her baby. Without this, she would be doomed. She would be disgraced and would have no way to survive. But the young man just laughed at her and turned her away, declaring that there was no way for him to know if it was his baby and he wouldn't even think of marrying her. She became distraught, held the baby to her breast and walked down over the hill to the harbor and disappeared into the water, never to be seen again but her ghost can still be seen coming down George Street with the baby who was crying as she once again walks out into the water and disappears into the murky depths of the harbor. Her ghost has been seen so often over the years that in 2015, Canada Post issued an official stamp to mark her story as part of their Haunted Canada series. This is one of the most gruesome stories from our past. It is a story of a jealous rage, a murder, and a severed finger, all as a result of what was meant to be an innocent lie. The exact names of the lovers involved is not known, but let's call them Tom and Clara. Tom had come to Halifax from rural Nova Scotia in the mid 1800s in search of work, leaving behind his fiancee, Clara. While in Halifax, he became buddies with a small group of other single young men. And every evening after work, they went out on the town and they enjoyed all the fun the city had to offer. Though Tom was having a great time, he missed Clara and soon sent for her to join him in Halifax, promising that as soon as possible, they would be married. Thus, Clara came to Halifax and took a room on the third floor of a boarding house on Argyle Street. Tom's buddies, on hearing that their little band of revelers was about to be broken up by Tom's upcoming nuptials, spun a story for Tom about how Clara was actually being untrue to him and that he was being played for a fool by her. Tom was not convinced of that, but decided to confront Clara and clear the air regarding these accusations. So one evening, shored up by a few drinks of rum, he strides up Argyle Street towards Clara's rooming house. As he comes up the street, 
he sees something that throws him into an uncontrollable rage. A young man is just leaving the rooming house and walking up the street away from him. As he leaves, he waves to a young woman who is leaning out the window, waving back at him. Tom is horrified to see that the young woman is his beloved Clara. He now realizes that his buddies have been right. Clara is indeed being unfaithful to him. He has seen the proof himself. In a fit of anger, he enters the house and goes up to Clara's room, shouting at her that he knows she's been untrue to him. Clara denies this and tries to reason with him, explaining that the man he saw leaving was her cousin, not her lover. But Tom is too enraged to listen to reason. He grabs a knife from the nearby table and he stabs poor Clara until she falls to the floor. As Tom turns to leave, he remembers that Clara is still wearing the tiny ring he had given her when they became engaged. He couldn't bear the thought of it staying on her finger in light of the fact that she had betrayed him. So he went back to her body to try and remove the ring from her finger. But try as he might, it would not come off. So he took the knife, severed her finger, and fled from the house with both the bloody finger and the ring. When he joined his buddies that night, he showed them the finger and the ring and confessed what he had done. They were distraught, telling him that all this was a big mistake. They had only made up the story about Clara in order to stop him from marrying her. Poor Tom. He could not believe his ears. He had killed his innocent, beloved Clara, all because of a foolish lie. Unable to bear the guilt and sorrow of what he had done, he hung himself later that night. Clara's ghost still wanders through the downtown, looking for her severed finger. On Halloween night in Halifax, one of the most popular costumes for young women to wear is a long white gown with a false hand and a missing finger and blood streaming down the arm. So if you ever come to Halifax and you're wandering down late one night, the Argyle Street, you may see Clara's ghost still wandering, still searching. Thank you.